My name is Joanne Selig and I'm the Family Programs Coordinator here at the National Building Museum. And today, I'm going to teach you and your family a little bit about being green. Who says it isn't easy being green? There are a lot of ways that you can help keep our earth clean and green. You can recycle, you can take public transportation, and you can conserve energy by turning off your lights, and much, much more. And today, I'm going to teach you how to make your very own green roof. A green roof replaces a traditional roofing system by creating a living system of compost, soil, and plants. It creates a green skin atop of a building that gives a little something back to the world. Green roofs help manage our stormwater. They help clean the air that we breathe. Green roofs help cool cities by absorbing heat from hot pavement and car pollution. They can create new habitat for wildlife. Green roofs can also be aesthetically pleasing and create a new space for people to enjoy. Well, let's get started. To create your own green roof, you will need a shoebox with its lid, aluminum foil, some craft materials to decorate the base of your shoebox, a fork and a spoon to act as your garden tools, glue or tape, grass seed, and potting soil. The first step in making a green roof is to decorate the base of your shoebox like your favorite building. You can try to represent different building materials. I use popsicle sticks for wood, recycled magazines to look like a painted wall. Try using as many recycled materials as you can. Toilet paper rolls make great building materials, old magazine ads, tissue paper. Once the base of your building is decorated, you'll need to start working on the roof. The first thing to do is to actually place a lining of aluminum foil into your shoebox lid. You need to glue the foil onto the lid to create a nice, tight fit. Because your green roof is out of a cardboard box, so you don't want any leaking when it's time to water it. You'll want to make sure you leave a lot of room for decorating and for creating your green roof because this is a messy project. Once your foil is all tightly lined into your shoebox lid, it's time to start planting. You'll want to put about a half an inch thick layer of soil on top of the foil. You'll want to make sure all of the foil is covered with that nice layer of soil so that we're able to plant the grass seed. And don't be afraid to get your hands dirty to spread out that soil. The next step is to put in your grass seed. I recommend about three spoonfuls and you'll want to spread it all around. Don't worry about getting spread too much because you can use your fork as a garden tool and really spread out the grass seed, just like you're really planting, so that your grass doesn't all grow just in one clump, so that it's really spread throughout your green roof. Once your grass seed is all planted, you've completed the green roof part of the project. So the very last step is to actually attach it to your building. You can either glue it or just tape it on for a nice, tight fit. And you've created your very own green roof. So what is a green roof? A green roof is really a layer of plants, and plants need sunlight and water to survive. So you'll want to be sure to place your green roof in an area where it can get some exposure to sunlight, maybe by a window, and also be sure to water it, I would say about every two days or so, or when the soil starts to feel very dry. After about a week, your grass will begin to grow. And I actually have this green roof that I did a few weeks ago, and as you can see, the grass has fully germinated or sprouted. Once your grass has grown, it's okay if it gets a little bit tall to trim it just a little bit. Well, congratulations, you've completed your green roof. Give yourselves a green thumbs up for learning a little bit about sustainable design.